Hello and welcome to Anarchy in the Ukulele with me, Paul Mansell. Today we're going to learn all about a swing rhythm and we're going to do it by learning um, a fun little piece called My Hammock by the Stream. Um, the PDF for My Hammock by the Stream is available, there's, there's a link in the description so you can get that for free. Um, if anybody's interested, it was written by little old me and it's taken from this book, Modern Pieces for Ukulele, that was released a couple of years ago, but still available. Um, so first of all, let's talk about what a swing rhythm is. But firstly, you need to know how it's noted, and you'll see at the top of this page, you've got these two quavers, and then a quatrain and a quaver in brackets. That's telling you it's a swing rhythm, okay? Wherever you see that, it's saying play this with a swing. Sometimes they just write, with a swing okay but that's generally how they write it what is a swing rhythm well it's named swing rhythm because it's named after the sort of swinging jazz period of the 40s if we look at the first bar of my hammock by the stream without a swing it would sound like this one and two and three and four and okay with a swing you do a long note followed by a short. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. And that applies wherever you've got two quavers together. Likewise, if I was playing chords without a swing, I'm just playing some random chords with a swing. So that's your swing rhythm, where you're still playing one beat, but it's a long note followed by a short note. So let's get into my hammock by the stream. It starts with almost a little blues rundown, because chromatic rundown where we're not missing any notes out. The easiest way to think about this, put your second finger at the fourth fret and your third finger on the third fret. Fourth fret of the C string, third fret of the um, E string. And we're then going to descend that down one, down another one, and then right to an A7, okay? On our right hand, we're using thumb, index, middle. Thumb, index, middle. It's effectively, you could call it sort of where you're assigning fingers to the string. So my thumb is pretty much assigned to the um, C string. Um, index to the E, middle to the um, A string. So, long, short, long, short. So I'm going C string, E string, A string, E string. Thumb, index, middle, index. Don't forget your rhythm, long, short, long, short. You then descend that exact position. It's almost like a D, G7 shape. That's your first bar, one. Okay, bar two, you're descending again, and then you finish on an A7. So you can just descend that down once more. And the A7 is two beats. The A7 is not affected by a swing rhythm, because it's two beats. It's only the quavers, half beats, that are affected by the rhythm. So we'll end up with, That's two beats. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So that's bars one and two covered already. That then repeats for bars three and four. So we end up with in slow mo one and two and three and four and one and two and three, four. One and two and three. That's just a little intro into the piece, but we're keeping a swing rhythm throughout this. This piece looks a little bit complicated, but it's not. Let me play you the whole piece first off. It's a really pretty little piece, this.
it's one of them pieces that sounds more complicated than it is. I'm playing it on a low G, it's absolutely fine on a high G. So we've covered bars one to four. Bar five, where the main sort of theme of the piece starts, you're just putting down a C chord, okay, with your second finger. I know we normally play it with our third, but for this we're gonna play it with our second. I'll tell you why in a minute. The picking pattern is long, short, long, short. So you're doing thumb and middle to begin with, and that's long. Your index is then gonna pick the E string, long, short, okay? Your thumb is then gonna pick the C string, long, short, long. And your index is then gonna pick the E string. Okay, and it does that the whole way through. So just gently start on a C. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. We're keeping that pattern the whole way through. We're just gonna move our left hand. In bar four, five, we're gonna go from a C to C major seven. Just gonna descend one, so it'll be. Simple as that. Okay, bar six, still a C chord, but we're going up to a D with our pinky. Pinky's going to fifth, so. And then you descend back to a C. You can see now why I'm using finger two for the C chord, because we're going all the way up to the D. So have a listen to bars five and six. Okay, bars seven and eight are exactly the same. So you'll end up with. Okay, so let's listen to it all up to there. Okay, um, bar 10, sorry, my mistake, bar nine, you're going to go to a D minor shape. So D minor, we've got two, two, one. So I'm using my second finger, second fret of the G string, third finger right next to it, second fret of the C string, first finger, first fret of the E string. The picking pattern is exactly the same. So again, thumb and middle, index, thumb, index, twice. One, and two, and three, and four, and keeping that swing. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. Okay, and you do that twice. For bar 10, you just go to a G7. Keep your first finger where it is, and then pivot round to a G7. So you end up with zero, two, one, two. Fingers, two, one, three, okay? And it's the same picking pattern. Seventh chords are generally used as kind of like a little segue to say we're about to go back home, okay? So they generally happen sort of before you're resolving. And this piece is just resolving to C afterwards, okay? So those two bars, D minor, G7. All of that section then repeats. It's as simple as that. So we have C, C major seven, C with an added D, C, C, down to two, up to five, down to three, D minor, G seven, and then C, and you're finishing on a C chord. So once you've got that pattern, You've got the piece. All you've got to do is move your fingers around. I guess the hardest bit probably is going from the C to the D minor. If you're struggling with that, do it one at a time. So first of all, put an A minor down like that, just the two and the zero. 
then the one, then the two. You don't need to always put the three down together. You can go. So I'm going one, two, three. Okay, so hopefully that's explained what a swing rhythm is. If you've got any questions about this piece, my hammock by the stream, um, feel free to put it in the comments below. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that bell. Okay, bye now.